Like this has everything that I want in a notebook. Hey there crew, it's Mark from Men Who Bullet. Thanks for coming to hang out with me today as we're wrapping up our notebook review series and I saved the best for last for you. I am so thrilled to share and review these scribble and dot notebooks with you today. Not only is the design on these absolutely the coolest, but the paper is fantastic. The setups are cool. And I think you're gonna really like what's inside of these notebooks. We're doing a pen and ink test as well to see how this paper holds up. So let's go ahead and get into it. We have quite the review today to do with all these scribble and dot journals. I'm so excited. We've got the journal, which we'll take a look at first. We also have a beautiful Jungle at Night 2023 diary as well. And a square journal, another one. I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and start off with the scribble and dot journal itself. So we'll open it up. Beautiful packaging. I was very excited to get this one. You know, I got the little monstera leaf on the front. I'm a, I'm a big fan. So let's take a look at the packaging here. So it comes inside of a really nice box. On the back here, we have which one we got, which this one is going to be the green monstera dotted journal. Very excited for this one. Wrapped beautifully. Look at that. We've got the scribble and dot little sticker here on the front. We got a, to be honest, you are the best. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for supporting our business. We hope you love our product as much as we do. Don't forget to tag us at Scribble and Dot, which we definitely will. And then also sharing feedback. You gotta love when a company is always asking for feedback and looking to do good things. Oh, look at this. This is an absolutely stunning design. Oh my gosh, look at that cover. A uh, soft touch vegan fabric cover here for you. It feels and looks so amazing. We have the Monstera here on the front, just the journal title here, and then on the back and the bottom, you have the Scribble and Dot logo. Oh my goodness, this, this is stunning. You open it up, nice and thick too. This is, this is really nice. We have the journal belongs to and the date that you're starting it. Some of the details here for Scribble and Dot. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so over on the left-hand side, we have a key. So you can use kind of a bullet code is what they're calling it, but these would be your bullet journal signifiers. Or if you want, you can have a color coding here. So this doesn't lock you down. It actually gives you options on how you want to run your notebook. We do have an index over here. So all of your topics on the left and your page numbers here on the right-hand side. And we have one, two, three pages of those on there. So that'll be interesting to see how well that would hold up. The spaces are quite large. Honestly, I think I might have even split those in half a little bit and that would give you a little bit more. There's enough space there for sure. But if you write nice and big, maybe uh, you don't want to do that. Then from there, we're gonna turn right over into the start of our page, page one here on the left, page two on the right. I have to tell you, these dots, they look a little bit light. These would look really nice though, I feel like, when you're taking pictures versus something with heavy dot. But for anyone that might have a vision impairment, these might be a little bit difficult. It's hard to tell without using them, so when we do our pen test, we'll have to take a look at that. So as we go through here, we'll actually see we do also have two page holders here. So very much goes with the beautiful colors that are on this notebook. So got that whole theme going on. Let's go ahead and go to the back. Ooh, what is this? Pen test pages. What? Okay. That's exciting. <laughs> so 160 pages that we have with the dot grid on it. And then that was a total surprise. There's not a dot grid on this, but it does have its own pen test pages here in the back. We actually have three of those. So instead of using the paper, I love that. I love that addition. Instead of using the pages for it, you just use the pen test. So that's what we'll use uh, today for sure. And we have our pocket here in the back and then we also have our elastic cover. And then we also have our pen holder that's actually reinforced in there, which is fantastic. Sometimes, sometimes those fall off of some notebooks. So that's super awesome to see on here. I am such a fan. I have to see how this paper does to like give it my 100%. But from a design perspective, this is amazing. I love that it has the key and index built in. I love that it has page numbers. Like this has everything that I want in a notebook. 160 GSM paper. Mm, this is exciting stuff. Before we do that, let's just go ahead and check out these other notebooks real quick. So this is another one from Scribble and Dot. This is the Jungle at Night. So this is a dated planner. This is for 2023. 
Oh my gosh, and look how beautiful that cover is. I can't help myself. These are some amazing designs. And as a plant lover myself, I'm even more excited about this. So what we have on here will be monthly tabs. We've got yearly, monthly, and weekly pages. Interesting. We have a lifestyle tracker, pen holder, 120 GSM paper in here. So not as much as the other notebook that we just looked at, but 120 might be good. So we'll definitely have to take a look at that. So it can be used with other things as well. So you, you can't beat that. Let's open her up. This diary belongs to me now. Ooh, look at that. So we have a 2023 yearly planner already built inside of here. An entire year on this one page here. So we have all of the calendars and then a handful of lines here for writing in any type of events or things that are going on. So I love that. Oh, you also have a 2024 planner. Wow, you can get two years inside of this. Love that. What? This is so thoughtful. Okay, birthday list. See, I usually put birthdays inside of my yearly planner, but this actually has a whole birthday list already here for you. A bucket list, if not now, when? So all the items that you want to try to accomplish in the beginning of your year. Any thoughts that you have as you're kicking things off as well. You have a password keeper, travel planning. And then we kick into our first overview for January, our full month here, space over here for goals and priorities and notes. Oh, look at the tabs. That This is really nice. All right, January notes and a to-do list over here for you to get things started. Liking that. We've got a financial plan page here, interesting. Month income expenses. This is a nice little addition. Habit tracker, so if you're the type of person that wants to write out gratitude or have any specific things that you're doing, that's built right inside of here. Well, they really thought of everything. And then you're gonna kick into your weekly overview. So this is going to be for the last week of December into January, our section for our notes. Okay, then we have each of our weeks here. We're also tracking the weeks here over on the top left as well. And then now we've moved into February. So we have the overview, same pieces, notes, to-do list, financial plan, habit tracker. And then now you're breaking into February. This is so nice. We also have our two ribbon holders there. Okay, and that'll take us all the way through into December. Let's see if there's anything at the back of these pages. There is, look at this. So behind December, we have a contacts area here, phone numbers, emails, addresses, if you're the type of person that likes to write those things down. Quite a few of those, actually. <laughs> we have uh, nice doodle pages here in the back, so a thicker dot grid than the other one. This could be great for collection pages. This is something that I was actually thinking about with my own personal notebook. One of the reasons that I didn't just go straight with a, a yearly planner is because there weren't a lot of pages for collection notes. So I don't know that this would necessarily hold me over. There's only a handful of them in here, but that's still really nice that these are back here. And we also have pen test pages. So um, I think we'll be using this for the pen test. Maybe we'll pen test this too, because this is 120 GSM paper. So it's definitely different than the 160. So we'll also do a pen test in here too. I think that's only fair, but this is absolutely amazing. Look at that cover. Oh, there's a little toucan down there. I didn't even notice him before. Oh wait, they're all over the place. See, this is this is fun design, right? This is exactly what uh, this is all about. Finding cool notebooks and things that you like with these fun designs and patterns on them. Before we go into that pen test, let's go ahead and check out the square notebook. I've only had one square notebook in my life and I thought it was so much fun. So I was really excited to see that they have one as well. So let's go ahead and open this up. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So dot grid notebook, five millimeter dot grid, 160 GSM pages, 160 pages bound by hand, very nice. So it's an eight by eight inch square journal here. The covers on these are nice. Um, I don't know, they're like, they feel like a little bit padded, a little bit, I don't know, but they have a really nice like quality feel to it. I love that, journal belongs to. All right, so a lot of the same things that we saw inside of the other one. So you've got your key area, your index over here, three pages for that. You go straight into your dot grid here. So the eight by eight dot grid right here on your pages. 
160 of those pages here. You've got your pen test pages in the back of this one as well. We've got the big pocket here in the back with the elastic band, also the pen holder reinforced back here, and then really nice scribble and dot here on the back. Wow. I'm so impressed. Uh, so much about this notebook is really exciting to me. I love that it's square. I love that there's other options out here for 160 GSM pages. This is really absolutely stunning. All right, let's go ahead and do our pen test. So we'll be testing out the 120 GSM paper in the back of the diary. And then we'll also check out the 160 GSM paper in the back of the journal. If you're unaware, Scribble and Dot is a UK based stationery shop. They have amazing products on their website. You have to check them all out. And they're really out here for the community, trying to make really nice quality products without forgiving any of that quality as they're making things as affordable as they can. You can check out all the details at scribbleanddot.com. And of course, I'll have links for you down in the descriptions below for the things that we're gonna be checking out today. Okay, we've gone ahead and we finished our pen test on both of these. We've done the same exact pens and relatively same marks across both of these. Let's go ahead and start with the 160 GSM first since this is going to be the thicker paper to see how it holds up. So as you can see here, we did everything from gel pens and highlighters and brush pens, different types of writing pens, Baron Fig, Uniball. We even got some heavier Faber-Castell pens inside of here. We used fountain pen ink out of pens. We also used it with some nibs. We used it with a glass pen and we did it again with a different type of ink. So two different types of ink here because sometimes the inks can work a little bit differently here. We have VersaFine ink and then also an oil-based ink from the Midori stamp here, watercolor on this side here. So let's go ahead and flip her, see how we've done. So on this side, everything is looking really good. This ink down here was put on with a glass dip pen and this blue celestial ink and it really sunk into that. I mean, you even have some feathering out here as well. But on the other side here, you do have a little bit of bleed through, but it did not go onto the other page. This, even though it looks bad, is really good because it's rare that you're kind of dipping that much pen on a notebook like this. Usually you're writing pretty quickly across it, especially how I did here with the second one. Again, two different type of inks, so they worked a little bit differently where this one feathered and this one did not at all. Everything else passed this test with flying colors, really well done. The watercolor, again, slightly rippled here, but that's gonna happen in any type of notebook that you have. It's paper and water, what do you expect? But no bleed through or anything like that. No real ghosting either. I'm even looking, think the only place I kind of see a little bit of something is here with this ink that's on this right here, um, but it's not really super noticeable. It's the only thing that I'm kind of noticing that's in this space other than what we had over here on this one. So now let's go ahead and check out the 120 GSM paper to see if that looks any different on here. What I found most interesting mostly had to do when I laid down this ink here. So that's the Celestial Blue from Birmingham Inks. A lot more feathering and kind of spreading out here, a little bit less here. I started here though, and I'm wondering if maybe that's what laid down a little bit more ink than the second time around when I did it, but we still saw some feathering happening here. However, it looks exactly the same here with the same glass dip pen, but a different type of ink. Everything else on here though is exactly the same. So let's go ahead and flip us over. All right, so on 120 GSM paper, you are going to actually see a little bit more. There is a little bit more ghosting on this paper because it doesn't have that higher GSM paper. It's not horrible. We did see the same amount of bleed through here, but nothing on this other page here. However, I can see the stamps a lot more. I can see where these are, the oil base. I can even see the pen marks over here a lot more in the brush pen ones. So with this planner here, you're gonna probably wanna go with kind of more of your run-of-the-mill pens up here that we have in this space right here. Uh, you're going to see that that's not going to come through as much. You could still do stamps. I don't think there's anything really wrong with it. Um, you just know that you're going to have a little bit of that ghosting coming through, but the same exact effects that we saw with the ink on here, even the green one over here too, kind of came through just a little bit more out of that pen. But overall, did pretty good for here. However, on this other one, like you can't really see anything at all. So it's pretty interesting. You can also see that this is also bright white paper. I didn't notice that before with a little bit more of the ivory paper here, but super nice. And everything did really great on these. Everything I would honestly expect it to do, um, even with this ink bleeding through, that's kind of like the extreme situation. It's rare that you're going to be dipping a pen into ink and then laying it right on your paper like that. It's usually gonna be in a pen or something else. So this did really well. And again, no bleed through onto the other pages too. So that's good paper. 
All right, I am absolutely in love with these notebooks. Like, this is so cool. The paper is amazing. I love the setups of these. The designs, I just don't have words. Like, these specifically for a plant lover like me, like, this is awesome. I just love how cool this is. So, Scribble and Dot, you have yourself a brand new fan. I absolutely love these. You yourself can check out more details on Scribble and Dot on their website, scribbleanddot.com, of course, over on Instagram and all of the other socials. I'll put the links for you down in the descriptions below as well as all the links to these notebooks specifically. So that way, if you're looking for that last minute, get this notebook before the beginning of the year, this will be ready for you and you'll have what you need, hopefully in just a short amount of time. And I wanna thank you so much if you've been hanging out for all of these wrap ups for the end of the year, doing all of these. I wanted to get the right notebook in your hands, but guess what? We can only review so many. I have plenty more that we're going to be reviewing and continuing into 2023. I just won't be doing them weekly. Make sure if you haven't already to subscribe to this channel, tap that bell. That way you'll be notified when I have new videos that are coming out, whether it's notebook reviews, whether we're doing bullet journal planning or some just general other stationary ideas. I'm having a ton of fun. Hopefully you are too. I'll chat with you very soon. As always, have a wonderful rest of your year and happy planning.